on this episode of uh, Coffee and Valkyries, we have another Rain FC uh, player. We have defender Teresa Nielsen. Teresa, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me here. The team played uh, Houston Dash, and you guys won 2-0 and clinched a spot for the playoffs. Um, can you just uh, do you have any additional thoughts on just uh, the team's performance on Tuesday night? I think Tuesday was a really good night. We clearly fight for this spot in the playoff, and for the first minute, we everyone was ready and just won this spot. So Tuesday was just a perfect day to finally get the one spot in mm -hmm. the playoff. One of the highlights from that match was the opening goal by Jody Taylor in the 50th minute, which you had a lot of uh, um, input on because the whole build-up towards that goal was just a fantastic team effort where you had Kristen McNabb uh, dribble to the middle, she passes it to Jasmine Spencer, she holds enough long enough for you, for a lot of people that may not have seen it, you were making your run all the way down the right flank and then she passes it off to you and then just as you're about to enter the penalty box, uh, you pass, you cross it off to Jody and she finishes it off. Um, I guess, what was your overall feeling on just being involved in that play and also recording your first assist in a in every cell? I just love that we finally got the goal in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and that I have the assist is just nice, you know, finally get the assist. Uh, it's always good to be involved in goals, but I'm just glad we're having the goals. Then I don't care who scores, who get the assist, but mm -hmm. of course it's nice to be involved. And it was a really beautiful goal, the whole setup. So I'm glad Jody just was on the perfect spot. And you are one of the new players on the team. Um, how has been the adjustment for you in terms of adjusting to the style of play of a, in NWSL? Just came here, I was actually so surprised of how good it was. And there are so many good players, you know. It's just every player and every team is just so fast, so technical, so good and so strong. So there is never an easy time in the game. So. I was surprised that it was so good actually and now I'm just loving it because it keep getting me better and mm -hmm. we grow as a team all the time so I just love being here and I'm so glad that I've made that decision coming here. I never regret. Uh, let's go back a little bit. When did you first start talking to Seattle about the opportunity to come play here? I think I talked with Latko end of November uh, last year. Yeah, that was the first time, and then there was a little bit quiet, and mm -hmm. then I think maybe around Christmas, uh, I talked with the club again. I think Bill. And during that time, like at, you know, between your first conversation with Vlaco and your conversation with Bill, did you talk to um, any of your compatriots and Katrine Vier and Nadia Nadim about what it's like playing in the NWSL? You know, like seek them for advice? Yeah, I did. I talked with Nadia. And then I talked with Lina, she was in Washington a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And then I talked to Mich uh, Michelle uh, Peters, because I was in Norway with her last mm, year. So yes. it was perfect to talk with her. And none of them was scaring me away. They were just, you have to do it, uh, Teresa. It's an experience and you can't say no to, especially Lina and Nadja. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I convinced my husband and <laughs> yeah, jump on the flight. You've had a lot of experience before you came here, um, but you are on a team that has is leads the league in shutouts, has given up the fewest goals. Are there things you feel like you've learned as a defender this year, even with all of your years of experience? As a defender, you will never give a goal away, of course, but here we had a lot of uh, shutouts, and that's so nice, because it will cost maybe a lot of points if we gave up the goals, so it's just, so cool that we can keep the other team from getting goals because again it's so many good players so when you can go after a game and say ha they, they didn't score against us with so many good players that's a really great thing for us i guess so it's just a big shoulder clap for the rain team the whole team for doing what we're doing right now yeah a few weeks ago we were talking with megan oyster and she told us that sometimes you just like to yell out her name um, just to get her attention. She even said to me the other day in training, she's like, sometimes I just yell your name just to see if you're like listening to me. I'm like, I think you're yelling my name because there's someone there I have to defend. And she just is like, no, I just want you to look. Yeah. Is that something that you do with all the other players or just something you do with her specifically because of um, because she's like the closest player next to you on the field or do you guys just have that sort of uh, relationship as, as I colleagues? Think 
also because she's the newest one to me, <laughs> but also because she don't listen sometimes. <laughs> I can't get her attention, so it's really I'm just yelling so much. But she, it's so funny because we, yeah, we're just having fun after. What's it like for you to play alongside uh, some of the league slash world's best players like Jess Fishlock, Megan Rapino, but then also emerging talent like Megan Oyster, Morgan Andrews. And, but, but like, what's it like for you to just play alongside such a mix of talent like this? It's so nice, you know. Um, I used to play on teams maybe where we were not that many national teams players. So, but now I can learn from players like Rapino, mm -hmm. Ali, Jess, and it's just so nice. We have a group of everything: young players, older players. I just love the group because everyone can get better in this group, and that's what. It, all about you know right. always keep getting better so i love that who is the one teammate uh with an on the field skill that you want the most for yourself i think it's morgan she had a lot of skills and i told her that she need to make me a program for the off season to uh, get all the skills and Otto too Otto is out of the league actually see so it's fun Crazy to watch about. three defenders run after her and her And it looks so out. easy yeah. and yeah. if I'm doing it, I will fall. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a combination of Otto and Morgan, I guess. How do you like Seattle then? I love it. I love being here. The city and the whole thing, it's so European style. What I love is just the mountains and, and the water. I just think those two things is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So. This night, Snoqualmie? No, Snoqualmie? Yeah. Yeah. Fall, it was so beautiful. Oh, yeah, Snoqualmie yeah. Falls, yeah. So, something like that, when I see the nature like that, oh, it just makes me happy. You kind of already talked about just how fast this league is and how great the players are. Has, it, has there been any other surprise for you coming into this league? I was just happy that it was that good, yeah. you know? Uh, when people, you know, back home say, oh, it's the best league, and you would just, yeah, yeah, of course it is. Everyone say they have the best league, mm -hmm. but actually I think it is a pretty, pretty good league. I have not been in so many, uh, many different leagues, but for sure it's the best I have been in so far and what I have seen, especially because every team is so good. Mm -hmm. You know, in leagues in Europe, there's only maybe three, four teams who are fighting for the the uh, championship, but mm -hmm. here I could li literally see everyone winning the championship because mm -hmm. everyone is so good. And sometimes I actually miss just win 8-0 and <laughs> just have an easy <laughs> game, you know. But but it's not making anyone better. So right. I take this because yeah. when you win 1-0 or 2-0 and you have fight the whole game, it's just so good. Mm -hmm. It's a nice feeling and just go to bed so tired. <laughs> but with three points, it's the best feeling. So. Yeah, every, every game here is a final, you know? Yeah.